Welcome to the Wonder League's first ever robotics competition. Your mission is to send Dash off to explore a newly discovered distant planet in outer space. Before I tell you about the challenges, I'm excited to announce this year's grand prize. The winning team will be invited to Silicon Valley to visit some of the biggest names in tech for a free STEM field trip. You'll get to learn from top engineers, see some cutting edge technologies, and get the inside scoop on how your favorite games are made. And best of all, you'll get to meet the makers of the Minions! <laughs> and now for the missions. Be sure to refer to the challenge document at competition.makewonder.com for more details. You will need some painter's tape, a measuring tool, post-it notes, a marker, 18 solo cups, and of course, a dash and dot. The first step is to create a grid that is 270 by 270 centimeters. Just measure it out and use the painter's tape to create a border. Mark every 30 centimeters with a piece of tape. Label the rows from the bottom up with A to I, and the columns from left to right with 0 to 8. All missions will take place in this grid. Mission 1, Rocket Launch. Launch Dash into space with a three-stage rocket. Each rocket stage must ignite at the correct distance from the launch pad. After igniting all three stages, Dash must travel far enough to escape Earth's gravity. Make Dash start at row A. Choose or record a sound that Dash makes when a rocket stage is ignited. Then program Dash to move forward, igniting the first at A, the second at D, and the third at G. Then Dash must enter row I to complete the mission. Mission 2, Space Station Dock. Yar! Getting out of Earth is tough. Dash needs to dock at the station to refuel and get some extra supplies. You will need a dash, a dot, and a solo cup. Place dash in A0. Place the cup upside down at the intersection of F5, F6, G5, and G6. And place dot on top of the cup. Program dash to move towards dot. Make a complete stop within the green zone and make a docking sound. Watch out. If dot falls off the cup, you lose points. Mission 3. Asteroid Belt. Put Dash into defense mode and navigate through the asteroid belt to get into the outer solar system without touching any asteroids. You'll need Dash, Dot, and 18 solo cups. Place the cups in rows F and D at 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and E and G at 1, 3, 5, and 7. Remove Dot stand and place Dot on top of the cup at F4. Start Dash at A3 or A5 and navigate to row I to complete the mission. You'll lose points if Dash touches the cup or moves the cup out of its cell. Your mission will fail if Dash goes outside the grid before entering row I. Mission 4. Fly by. In this mission, we'll use the gravitational pull from a nearby planet to slingshot Dash towards the destination planet. You will need Dash, Dot, and a solo cup. Make Dash start at A3, and place the solo cup upside down at F4 with Dot on top. Make Dash move towards Dot, pass by, and get to row G. Make Dash turn right, and exit through column 8. You'll lose points the farther away you are from G8 when you exit the grid, and if you knock Dot off the cup. If you can orbit around Dot, every orbit you make gets a bonus point. Mission 5, Landing. Hooray! You've made it to your destination planet. Maneuver Dash around to the landing site at the far side of the planet. You'll need Dash, Dot, and a solo cup. Place a cup at F4 with Dot on top. Start with Dash at A4 and move Dash to G4. Dash must make a complete stop at G4, and you'll get bonus points for making a reverse landing where Dash's backside is facing Dot. You'll lose points if Dot is knocked off the cup and your mission will fail if Dash moves outside of the grid. Mission 6, Sample Collection. It's been a long journey. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Explore the new planet and scan for mineral deposits. You'll need a Dash, a Dot, and four solo cups. Place one solo cup upside down at B4 with Dot on top. Place the other three solo cups at D2, F7, and G4. The base zone is in the middle between rows A through C. Start with Dash's body anywhere in the base zone, except for B4, where Dot is. Make Dash tag each cup, playing a sound each time it tags a cup. 
You'll get bonus points if you can bring all cups back to the base zone. After bringing each cup back, you can reposition Dash anywhere in the base zone to start collecting the other cups. If a cup moves out of the grid, it cannot be brought back for more points. For all missions, you'll get bonus points for flair. Get creative on how Dash looks, lights up, and makes sounds. <laughs> After completing each of the challenges, upload your video to YouTube. Your video should include an introduction of your team, a video of your robot completing each of the missions, and a short explanation of your code after each mission. When you upload your video, set it to unlisted so your video can be protected. Once it's done uploading, email it to ideas at makewonder.com anytime before December 1st, midnight Pacific time. But start early. The seventh and final mission will be announced in the middle of November. Many teams will launch off into space, but will your robot complete the mission? Or will you get stranded in the desolate chasm of darkness forever? Good luck to all the participating teams. Make sure to check back for more details at competition.makewonder.com.